by the French authorities asking you uh, for details of your house. Before any of that, roll intro. Glad to see you formed an orderly queue. Good morning. Bon matin. Go on, off you pop. A load of grass to uh, to dig up today. Find some worms. Go on. Good morning. From the southwest of France. We had an amazing time yesterday. Colin and Jane's house. French Crunch Show Live. Description. Uh, in the pool. Another thing ticked off the bucket list. Um, and also, hold on, the dog's got me to gardening glove. Luke, sit. He doesn't understand drop, he only understands sit. <laughs> anyway, um, and then we went to the kids end of year fate, party, uh, show. Sp spectacle, which is what they call it. Probably pronounced that wrong. But um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, late though, they start at half seven. We've got kids there two, two, three years old. And the room was really, really hot. But they but they sold beer and pizza and cake. But the kids did well, singing and dancing uh, in French. Amazing time. Anyway, it's going to rain today apparently. But, and whatever's next, probably we did. Let's do that. something that's uh, really important to the French culture. So we are only just learning about them. So we've had, uh, we've been to an apero and we've hosted an apero. Now it's like a meal before a meal. Normally around about four or five o'clock. Drinks, um, a, a light snack, you know, like uh, pizza, cold meat, um, cheeses, um, pickles. I think we, Anglified it as well, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So it's uh, something that you get invited around to in a sort, sort of like a informal slash formal way. So it's normally a precursor to the French main meal, but it's not a fait accompli that you'll be invited to the main meal. You know, so yeah, sometimes you are, yeah, sometimes you're not. But it's normally expected that you leave um, before the main meal. 
I'm not too sure of the rules. Uh, but yeah, we had an apero yesterday. A great time. We have your friends of ours come over um, with their kids and uh, we just sat socialising, just picking up food, uh, use the hot tub and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's something that uh, we will definitely be doing again. Um, an apero. Try it out. So, after around about a year of buying a property in France, certainly in this area anyway, you get contacted by the French authorities asking you uh, for details of your house, room sizes, hallway sizes, landing sizes, outbuilding sizes, if they're made of brick. Yeah, they want it in meter squared, and it has to be exact. Um, yes, yeah, so they sent us a form. Uh, the form was massive. It was in French. It had words in there that, that Google didn't even understand. <laughs> anyway, I contacted um, Emma, who used to work at Leggett's. She was the one that, that sold us our house. She doesn't work for Leggett's anymore. She works for AXA. Anyway, she kindly came round because she's got a special bit of kit that she can measure all the room with all the rooms with and she did that today she didn't have to but she did which is lovely and she filled in the form for us and uh, and also um, she's helping us with um, the top up mutual I'll explain what I'll explain what that is so when eventually we do get our our carte vitale entering into the health French French healthcare system put my teeth in um, it only pays medical bills up to a certain amount either 70 75 percent can't remember um, and then you've got to pay the rest which if you have a ten thousand pound operation <laughs> then you're going to need to find a couple of grand aren't you so anyway so you get what's called top up mutual insurance now there are various di different packages so uh so she's uh, helping us with that which is amazing so if anybody um who's you're thinking about you're coming over to France and uh, or in the process of coming over to France the process of the first year of the of the visa if you want me to put you in touch with uh, with Emma because yes yeah, she can provide uh, all the services too um, which he did explain but it wasn't really relevant to me so uh, he went in through one ear and one out of the other but not financial financial planning if you're living over here and you're working and uh, you need uh, your types of insurance and stuff like that. Anyway, I went to the Lax de Hortschorhans, took the drone, I'll show you the footage.
Alright, so picking up the kids from school. Sunny, definitely need these. Cue slow mo. Laters.